In this video, I will show you how to copy and paste, add effects, insert volume and pan envelopes, and adjust the pitch of files in your mix. Firstly, I will show you how to copy and paste. When in the mixing palette, simply highlight the file you wish to copy. Right click on the highlighted file and select copy. Simply right click on the location you wish to paste the file and select paste. You can always undo or redo these actions by clicking on the undo redo buttons located in the application toolbar. If you want, you can also copy sections of your mix. To do this, hold in the shift key on your keyboard and click and drag with your mouse to highlight the section you wish to copy. You can adjust the highlighted area by moving your mouse over the borders of the highlighted section. The adjust length indicators will appear. Adjust the highlighted section to the length of your choice. To copy this selection, right click on the highlighted area and select copy. Again, move to the location where you'd like to paste this selection, right click and select paste. The selection tool is very useful for copying large sections to other areas within your mix or pasting it to completely new mixes. Also, if you make a selection and click on the render icon, you will save the selection to your hard drive in a selected file format like WMA or WAV. If you would like to add an effect to a file in your mix, Right click on the file where you'd like the effect to be placed and select Insert Audio Effect. Choose the effect of your choice. Here I'll use the Echo Effect. An effects grid is now placed in the mix. You can highlight the effects grid by clicking on it. When highlighted, you can move it to different locations by clicking and holding on it and moving it to your desired location. You can also adjust the length of the effect. When the effect is highlighted, move to the start and end points and the adjust length indicators will appear. Adjust the length accordingly. With the black effects envelope, you can adjust the level at which the effect will be introduced. You'll notice a point on the envelope. This is called a node. By clicking on the envelope, you can introduce new nodes. You can adjust the level of the effect by moving these nodes around. You can delete a node by right clicking on it and selecting delete envelope node. Or reset the envelope to its default setting by selecting reset the envelope. You can also change the properties of the effect by right clicking on the effect and selecting Effect Properties. In this window, you can alter the properties of the effect. When happy, click Apply and then OK. You can also copy the effect to other areas by right clicking on the effect and selecting Copy and then right clicking on the location you want to paste and selecting Paste. To delete the effect, right click on it and select Delete Effect. You can also reverse play a file or file segment. Right click on the file or file segment and select Segment Properties. You'll be brought into the Segment Properties window. Simply click on the Play Reverse button and then click Close. The file will now be played in reverse. You can also add volume and pan envelopes to your mix. You can do this two ways. Either adjust the track name so that the volume and pan icons appear. Simply click on them to insert the envelopes into your mix. Or else, right click on the track of your choice 
and select Insert, Volume or Pan Envelope. Once inserted, you can adjust the envelope by clicking on it and moving it around. Again you'll notice nodes will appear. You can adjust the volume and pan by adjusting these nodes. Again, you can delete a node by right clicking on it and selecting Delete Envelope Node or reset the envelope to its default setting by selecting Reset the Envelope. The volume envelope is very useful for fading tracks in and out of your mix. The pan envelope moves the audio between your left and right speaker. You can also change the pitch of a file or file segment. Right click on the file where you would like to change the pitch and select Insert Pitch Envelope. Unlike the volume and pan envelopes, the pitch envelope is on the file, not the whole channel. You can adjust the level of the pitch by clicking on the pitch envelope and moving it up and down. You can also insert nodes to change the level of the pitch. To reset the pitch envelope, right click on it and select Reset Pitch. <laughs> 